Hi, my name is Bart Paulson, and in this tutorial, I want to show you how to use the online statistics application StatCrunch to analyze data uh, in Google Docs spreadsheets or other web sources uh, using a much simplified way in using what's called a bookmarklet. Um, this is the StatCrunch website, and if you have an account and you log in, um, you can go to this uh, other page, this the StatCrunch slash bookmarklet, and it's just this thing right here. You click on it and you drag it up to the bookmark bar on your uh, web browser. I've got it right here. And it's actually, it, it does a program to gather data. Um, and it's much easier than the standard uh, export, cleanup, import uh, rigmarole they go through. Now I'm going to use a Google spreadsheet first, um, one that I put together on the average speeds for winners of the Indy 500 and Brickyard 400. These are races that are run at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Indy 500 has been going on for a very long time, uh, around 100 years, um, and is for open wheel race cars. But starting in 1994, NASCAR stock cars have also had a race there called the Brickyard 400. And I wanted to compare the uh, average speeds of the winners for those two races because the open wheel cars are generally faster, but I wanted to take a look. Anyhow, I have some data right here. Now, the most important thing to know is that the, the stack crunch, this bookmarklet, is only going to grab the data from the leftmost uh, spreadsheet. See, because I actually have several spreadsheets in this particular file. Uh, I have one for just the Indianapolis data and the Brickyard data and I have charts and stuff, but I'm going to one that has just for both of them. And all I do is I come up here and I hit stack crunch this. It brings up this window, it make, tells me I need to be signed in, and I am. Then I hit proceed. And there it is. There's my spreadsheet, and it's got the data in it. And from there, I can do whatever I want with it. I can do the means, I can do correlations, I can do. Uh, you know, I can do whatever. It's wonderful. And, um, for instance, I could do a scatter plot that looks at, for instance, the Brickyard 400 speeds on the bottom and the Indy 500 speeds up the side. And uh, you can tell uh, it's not a real strong correlation, so things seem to vary a fair amount from year to year. Anyhow, that's there. And what I can do then is I can go to Data and Save Data. And I can save it to my own uh, my data folder. Uh, I've done that before, and then I would just you know get here to, to my data, and it would be there. Anyhow, it's a fabulous thing. Now I'm going to attempt to show you uh, how to get data from another website. I've had a little trouble, so I'm going to refresh here for a moment. Seems that sometimes the bookmark light gets things a little hung up. Uh, this is a website called Nation Master. There's another one called State Master, and these are fabulous websites for all sorts of data uh, broken down by country and states. Uh, for instance, I'm going to come right here to this one that says Collect Category, and you know it goes all the way down to here. I'm going to use Education. Then I get a pick a subcategory, and I will use Average Years of Schooling of Adults. Again. There's a lot of data here, I mean, seriously. So I'm just going to go back up to the top. Average years of schooling of adults. Great. I hit go. And the nice thing about Nation Master is it brings up its own bar charts. Um, and so from here, I can see that actually the United States is the highest in average year. It's all of 12 years, which means, you know, just getting out of high school. Uh, but strangely, Canada's less, and then you go to places like England, 9.4. Um, geez. Sri Lanka at 6.9. And come down here to uh, Guinea-Bissau at less than one year average per adult. I mean, that's kind of shocking. But anyhow, let's say we want to do something with these data. Um, what I can do is the data are there, and I have to tell you, I'm, taking the stuff from Nation Master and exporting before has been a real pain. So this makes life a lot easier. I just hit stack crunch this. Now what's funny about it is there's more than one data set on this page because there are comments and things at the bottom. So it brings up three tables, things that include the comments and whatnot, but I'm just going to ignore those other two. I only want the top one. And you see, it's got the rank of the countries from 1 through 100. It's got the names of the countries, and it has the amount of education. And so I can take that one, and I can save it, 
just the same way I did the others. It's a super simple way of getting the data in and dealing with it. Anyhow, um, this makes life much easier than the standard uh, copy, paste, export, import into StackCrunch. And um, it's a good thing to have. Hope that helps.